Hey, welcome back to Infinite Jeff. Project Ride Jeff, read the book Infinite Jest. One page at a time, one day at a time. Put it up in the YouTubes for all to hear. This is page 153. I'm just getting right to it. All right, here we go. Really came to look forward to. Since he's found, he has a real sort of mis uh, mystical, intuitive knack for finding visine bottles in the sedimentary layers of packed dumpsters. And always seems to win, hands down. And if you're poor old Mario and Condenza, then you take your competitive strokes where you can find them. T. Axford then stashes and recycles the bottles, and packaging overhead is nil. He and Pemulus keep the wiener tub stash under a discarded Yarmouth sail in the back of the used tow truck they'd chipped in on when Hal and Jim struck, and another guy who since graduated ETA and now plays for Pepperdine and paid to have reconditioned and the rusty chain and hook that hung from the tow truck's back tilted Derek replaced with a gleamingly new chain and thick hook, which got used really only twice a year, spring and late fall, for brief intervals of short distance hauling during the all-weather lungs dismantling and erection, plus occasionally pulling a paralyzed rear wheel drive student or employee vehicle either back onto or all the way up the ETA Hillside's long 70-degree driveway during bad snowstorms. This is Arizona, mind you. And the whole thing de-rusted and painted in ETA's proud red and gray school colors with the complex O-N-A-N heraldic ensign, a snarling full front eagle with a broom and a can of disinfectant in one claw and a maple leaf in the other, wearing a sombrero and appearing to have about a half-eaten a swatch of a star-studded cloth. <laughs> Rather ironically, silkscreen under the driver's side door of the good old pre-Tavis ETA traditional motto, Te Oxidere Possunt, unironically emblazoned on the passenger door, and which they all share use of, though Pemulus and Axford get slight priority because the truck's registration and basic liability insurance get paid for out of quarterly urine revenues. Hal's older brother Mario, who by dean of students fiat gets to bunk in a double with Hal in subdorm A, subdorm A on the third level of the comad, even though he's too physically challenged even to play low-level recreational tennis, but who's keenly interested in video and film cartridge production, and pulls his weight as part of the ETA community recording assigned sections of matches and drills, and processional stroke filming session for later playback and analysis by Shit and his staff is filming the congregated line and social interactions and vending operation of the urine day lobby, using his strap attached to head-mounted camera and thoracic police lock and foot treadle, apparently getting footage for one of the short supply. Sort, strange, himself-influenced conceptual cartridges the administration lets him occupy his time making and futzing around with down in the late founder's editing and FX facilities off the main sub com ad tunnel, and Pemulus and Axford do not object to the filming, nor do they even do that hand-to-temple face-obscuring thing where he aims the head-mounted bullocks their way, since they know nobody will end up seeing the footage except Mario himself, and that at their request he'll modulate and scramble the vendors' and customers' faces into undulating systems of flesh-colored squares by means of his late father's... late father's page turn, because that was the end of page 153. Good night.